500 pulses a second. But the old school way apparently that motorsports guys and automotive guys do is just pump the pedal. So let's take a shot at that today and see what we can do. Uh, for marking these pipes out, I bought some silver welders pencils. They're supposed to illuminate during welding or cutting. I think that's a bit of a stretch to say that, but on some surfaces they, they make a nice fine line as opposed to soapstone, but on this particular surface, good old soapstone did just as well or even better possibly. As long as I sharpen it up anyway, soapstone just fine. Sometimes I even color the area like that. So I just cut these with a grinder and I won't make you watch that. But I got a pretty decent fit. Cutting out little templates and then marking them out. And these nice little copper third hands are pretty awesome. And I wish I remembered or could find the email of the guy that sent them to me. I'd like to give him a big thank you again. But they're solid copper third hands and they, they provide a really good way to hold things down as well as a really good ground. So I got four tacks on this thing and let me go over how I would normally do this here. I've, I've got a number eight gas lens cup on here with a pretty good about a half inch electrode extension. And I would just try to twist my wrist as I went up to maintain a decent electrode angle. But that's not what we're going to do today. I'm going to put a five cup on there today and use a really, really short stick out. Actually, could have used a shorter one than I used even. You could even put the, uh, the electrode flush with the tip of the cup if you're using a five or even a number four size cup. And the benefit of that is using a lot less argon. But this is kind of how it goes. You can see what I'm doing here if you pay your real close attention. I'm pulsing with the pedal and I'm propping the cup dead on the metal. So I'm propping the cup rigid on the pipe and pausing, pulsing the pedal and adding filler rod. And that looks something like this. Just to give you an idea of, of how the foot pedal looks, it's somewhere between a half a second and uh, once a second. Not, not as fast as once a second but a little bit more than, than half a, a pulse per second, I suppose. Just all depends on how comfortable you are and how you get hung up. But that is the benefit of pulsing manually is you can, you know, not pulse the pedal until you're ready, until you're in position to feed the filler wire. So here I've got just a little gap, so I'm not quite hitting it full pedal. Otherwise, I'm going floorboard each time I hit the pedal. Getting ready to swap hands here and go left-handed and that is another benefit of pulsing manually if you're going to pulse uh, because when you swap hands generally you're a little bit more clumsy a little bit slower so I'm just going to pulse whenever I'm ready here with my left hand don't get me wrong I prefer to weld right-handed whenever I can but sometimes it's good just to practice just to stay in practice with with uh, left hand because there's always that time when that's pretty much the only the only option so I'm trying to not back off enough to leave any kind of crater or anything here but back off the pedal enough that it definitely cools the puddle off and I'm trying to maintain somewhat of a rhythm like I said without the camera in the way I could probably probably do one pulse a second with no problem but working around a camera, it's going to be 0.7 pulses a second, something like that. It's all good under the hood, either way. 